Hello everyone. Welcome back to your favorite channel Stadlins which adds excellence to your learning. In our previous lecture we have seen how to create a user defined function in JavaScript. Then we have also looked upon the function declaration and calling of the function in JavaScript with the arguments and parameters. As we have discussed in our previous lectures about functions, loops, conditional statements in JavaScript, now let's see to one of the most important topics in JavaScript that is DOM also stands for document object model. Let us understand this by a real life example. As we follow a hierarchy in our family, we can see on the screen how our grandfather is the ancestor of our father and the father again becomes an ancestor. So, we follow the same in the HTML document. Here we see in a boilerplate that HTML has a basic structure where HTML works as the main part. Then in the same hierarchy we have head and body tag and the hierarchy is formed. Thereafter we can see on our screen. So let's see technically how this works in our HTML document and why is it one of the most important to learn the DOM manipulation. We have seen how DOM is similar to the hierarchy which we follow in our family. As we have seen here, so in the same manner we have hierarchy in HTML document. As you can see clearly on the screen that here HTML works as the root element. Then we have the two child tags of this. One is the head tag, and the other is the body. Inside the body again, we have these which are mentioned on the screen as the siblings of the body tag. So this is technically how the hierarchy works in the HTML document. Now let's practically apply whatever we have learned in this part in our live coding session. So let's move to the live coding session. In the previous sessions, we have gone through various concepts in JavaScript till functions. Now let's see the most important topic of JavaScript that is DOM or DOM or also known as document object model. Now suppose you want to access the HTML files on a purpose. How do we do this? For the same reason, we have this DOM or the document object model where it is a programming interface. We can access the HTML elements in the form of the JavaScript objects. There is a particular default object in the JavaScript termed as document with different properties and this document object method helps us do the same. Firstly, open your home.html file in your script.js file which we have created in the earlier sessions. Let's write down our code as follows. Connect your html and jscript file using the same. Now, let's understand what we have done here. We have given a paragraph with id xyz and you have written welcome text. Now you are saying js to return this by element and that element has to have it by element id that is xyz. So you are telling that particular element let a variable. As for now let's take it as a variable further I will explain you what this particular thing is. Then you have document which is the object dot the method get element by id and xyz. So on saving this you can see that it can actually take the element from that particular html code and print out the welcome text where for the element by id xyz you have the paragraph as welcome text. Remember that every element has a unique id and this is called a node. So whatever the element by id you are taking it is being stored in a node. And what is this node? It further has set of properties and methods. So now this node ELE represents an object that is paragraph with, with id is equal to xyz. Now just get element by id C to the capital letters where E is capital, B is capital, I is capital. We also have different other methods. Let's see to them one by one. Next in this row we have about get elements by class name. 
now you might question that here in elements we are taking elements not element as of that of element by id in the previous method which we have used is get element by id so in this the elements because we get an array of elements using this method so here we have taken the class for xyz for both h2 and the paragraph tag on saving this we can see the output is as follows using class name which is for h2 and the message which is given for paragraph tag so it is taking collection of elements that is arrays and printing out the same and so we use elements for the class name so get elements by class name so using the class name and taking out the element that is accessing the same elements from the home.html file next we have the other method called get elements by tag name let's see to this by now if you might have understood that by tag name is where it returns the array of the elements with that particular tag name suppose you want a tag name to h2 so you want to access those elements which have tag name as h2 you can place that value over here in case over here we are using p value that is paragraph tag now we are saving this we want the elements which are in paragraph tag so welcome text message using class name is that of h2 so using the tag name what can we do we can access that particular html element which are having that particular value which is being used with respect to the tag right next we have query selector all that is you can access your css and also from that selector which you are using in css you can use that particular value over here in case dot p and then you can and then you can see the output accordingly now that we are done with the methods let's see to what properties are present for this document object the first property is the inner html this fetches the content of the element so let's see to the code here we can see that inner html is present over here and alert you're giving an alert element dot inner html that is the property let's save this and let's and see to the output here you can see an alert welcome text which is the inner html the element which is having the id as xyz has the paragraph tag which has welcome text as the message to saving this and then follows and then follows it gives you the executed messages and then on clicking the same it gives you the next line of the code to be executed this can also be used to change the properties of css ever wondered how do the user clicks get noted this is how the property of on click works where a particular code gets executed on clicked so let you are declaring you are defining a variable ele document dot get element by id and then element dot that is on that particular variable that is object dot on click property then you are giving your function and then you have given that alert element is clicked now let's save this understand what's actually happening so on refreshing on seeing to the code i click to welcome text you can see is element is clicked right i click on okay that is the paragraph tag has welcome text i clicked okay what is happening on clicking on this particular element id which is having as xyz that is the paragraph which has the element as welcome text i clicked on it and then the notice is going then there is an alert which is given that it it's being clicked on saving the same now it is clear the element is clicked right so this is how it is being worked we are actually clicking on that particular message and then an alert is being given and then you are pressing it okay coming back to our code we can actually create interactive web pages using these properties and methods being given so these are all the properties and methods which we can use and access the elements in html that is all for this live coding session congratulations on completing this concept we will get back to you with some more interesting concepts in the upcoming video 
Till then, take care and bye bye. Well, well, I guess these skills are surely going to help you gain confidence. And let us know the same in our comment section below. Don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to your favorite channel, Studlins, for more of this type of useful and interesting videos.